Hey, what's up you guys? The Curious Owl here, and today I have my May 2024 TBR. April was a huge success. I mean, I had a lot of books read, a lot of really good ones read, and I completed the Wheel of D20 for the month of April, which means we are down to one book left on our TBR for the Wheel of D20, which means that if I complete the only book I need to read for this game this month in June, I will get a free month where I do not have to do any wheel spins or anything. It is completely up to me what I decide to do, which will be perfect because June is when we do our second round of Battle of the Bookish for the year, our second big round. So pretty excited for that. May or may not have been an accidental way of that happening, but I am happy regardless. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into this month's TBR and we'll start off with the spin for the Wheel of D20 for this month. Okay, so we are here with the wheel. It is actually very early still in the month of April, but I already have started both of my Wheel of D20 reads for the month and I'm a good chunk of the way through both of them. So why don't we just do our only spin that we're gonna need to do for May because those two books are definitely gonna get done before the end of the month. So let's see what our only prompt for the Wheel of D20 for the month of May is going to be. And we get a young adult. Okay, pretty easy. That's super simple, very vague. I like it. Okay, so we have got the young adult picks here. We have Where Sleeping Girls Lie by Farida Abike Iyamide. This is their newest release that I have been so excited to read since I got it here in March. And we have Only at the Weekends by Dean, or Only on the Weekends by Dean Atta. I really liked the Black Food Lingo by them previously, and so I wanted to see how another story of theirs would go. But let's see what we end up getting. And we rolled see what that is. is that, it's a five it looks like. So that does mean we're going to put only on the weekends at the TBR for this month, which not too bad. I think that this is going to be similar to the Black Flamingo where it's going to be mostly prose writing, um, or not prose writing, uh, poetry style writing. So we'll see how that goes. So as you guys saw, we ended up getting Young Adult as our only prompt for this month, and for that we ended up going with Only on the Weekends by Dean Adda. This is a pretty chunky book, but I do think it is mostly in poetry style. That's what it looks like to me. Um, it is, though, 552, 50, 51 pages. So it's a chunky book, but I am expecting this to fly by really quick, just like the Black Flamingo did for me. Um, really did enjoy the Black Flamingo for what it was. Um, I think I gave it like a three star or a four star when I first read it. Um, so I'm excited for this. I've been excited for what else Dean Atta is able to come out with. So let's go ahead and get into any readathons I'm doing in the month of May. So the only one I'm participating in really like fully at least is the Beltane Readathon, which is going on from May 1st to May 7th. It is the beginning of May uh, to celebrate the Beltane season, which I also actually have candles and wax melts um, on sale right now for Beltane that will be going until May 7th. So if you want to get your own spell candle, spell wax melt in celebration of Beltane to bring in the great fire season energies, please go check out my website. For this, there are four reading prompts that we have to do. So. The first one we have is a book that's a part of a long series. This I'm going with my Witcher read-along book for this month, which is Baptism of Fire. This series is obviously six books. Um, I consider a series to be long if it's more than five books, really. Um, and I think that this one definitely counts for that. And it works out really well since I'm going to be reading this in the month anyway, since it's my Witcher read-along book for the month. Next is to read a book with either sapphire colors or blue on the cover, which for this I'm going with Sunbringer by Hannah Kainer. This is the book for Brandy's Book Club for the month of May. Um, it's the sequel to God Killer, which I actually finished up in April, so it's fairly fresh in my mind. I didn't necessarily like God Killer. I gave it a three out of five stars. Um, it was okay. I just got really bored partway through it, and I did say that if we ended up reading it for the book club, I think that I would at least try it, if nothing else, but um, 
I was pretty hit or miss with God Killer. So hopefully Soundbringer's better. I've heard it's really good. Um, and I know that a lot of people really seem to like this series. And so I'm hoping that the second book is better for me than the first one was. But we shall see. Then for the next one, we have a book that ends in a happily ever after, which most romances do. So for this one, I just picked the first romance that I recognized off of my Kindle. And that was Rancher's Daughter. Um, this I've had on slate for other things in the past, maybe for Wheel of D20 or something like that. I'm not quite sure, um, but I never got around to reading this, so I figured this would be a good opportunity to at least try this one. Finally, the next book is to read a romance in general, which for this I'm going with Bride by Allie Hazelwood. This is on my most anticipated releases of 2024, and I've heard amazing things about this, especially as Allie Hazelwood's like first paranormal romance. So very excited for this. It deals with werewolves and vampires. I believe maybe a witch or two we shall see um, but very excited to read this one because I've heard nothing but good things about it especially since I loved the love hypothesis I have a really good feeling I'm going to enjoy bride as well. Okay, so then let's get into the other book clubs and stuff I'm doing this month. This one is a readathon that happens, you know, during most of the Sabbaths and the equinoxes, things of that nature, which we just went over the Beltane readathon that's going on. They also have a year-long reading challenge that you can do where every month is pertaining to a different type of book, different prompt, things like that that are associated with the month. So for this month, we had to pick a book that had either plants or flowers in the title or cover, which for this I went with Bride because there are flowers in her hair in this cover. At least you can see that they're kind of like a shiny gold. Then we have the Eldia year-long reading challenge, which is something that is for G from Book Roast's Magical Readathon that they host twice a year. It's again, a year-long challenge where every month is essentially a choose your own adventure kind of thing. So you move to your own spot and it gives you your prompt. For me, I decided to go with going and getting extra credit for the lore class because that's what we ended up doing for this round of Magical Readathon was exploring more of the lore side of things within the world of Eldia. And so for this, it's to read a book that has multiple L's in the title. And this I decided to go with a book that I have been meaning to read for a long time. It's been on kind of like a back burner TBR um, for if I ever get the chance to read it kind of thing. And that is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. So let's see how many L's there are. One, two, three. There's three L's just in the title alone. So pretty happy about that. Um, this one, like I said, I've been meaning to read for a long time. V.E. Schwab, I've had some hit or miss things. I have heard that this is one of her more appealing books and that this is a, a favorite for a lot of people especially that are V.E. Schwab fans and even people who are not V.E. Schwab fans this is a really solid book so I'm hoping I'm going to like it so then I have the book club that I usually do with my mom and my sister, but it has not been announced yet what the book club book for that is. But whenever that gets announced, I will um, be adding it to my TBR. Like I said, for Brandy's book club, we are going to be reading Sunbringer. Again, we'll see how I feel about this considering my thoughts on God Killer. And then like I had shown earlier, my book for the Witcher series for this month is going to be Baptism of Fire. This is book three in the main series. And... I'm just enjoying the crap out of doing this reading series. Seriously, I am so excited that I decided to do this because I'm loving the books the more I get into them. It's it's turning out to be fantastic. But for now, that's basically all that I've got in terms of the books I'm going to read. It's a fairly small and tame TBR, I think, considering how the last several months have been, but I'm, I'm not mad about this. I, I think that at the very least I will get more reads in more than likely. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this video. If you guys did enjoy it, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you'd like to be, I would like to see more content like this, go ahead and hit that button down below and subscribe to become an owl at Narflock. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye guys!